Hey guys, there you are. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's a beautiful beach back there. Makes me hot and thirsty just standing down here. Come for a beer, what do you think? I think so. Let's go see what's in the green guy. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Bison Brewing and this is, and they do everything organic up uh, over there. So this is an organic chocolate stout, stout brewed with Peruvian cocoa. And basically when I read that I said, well, you know, that, their beers really had to improve. They have been bad, but they've not been overwhelming. I've not found a, an A organic beer yet, I don't think. So maybe this will be the one. So, uh, uh, it says here, the ancient Aztec kingdom, cocoa beans were considered so precious that they were used as money. On special occasions, Montezuma himself served his palace guests chocolate and goblets of uh, beaten gold. Cheers, Dan. Alright guys, 5% alcohol by volume on this. That's why we got the pint glass instead of the, the uh, double glass that I normally use for the porters and the stouts. Very low ABV, very sessionable, I would think, uh, at being a 5% beer. See, it's year-round availability on this. The food pairings cuisine is barbecue. The cheeses are the buttery, the brie, the gouda, Havarti, the swiss, your earthy cheeses, Camembert, Martina. And since it is a style, it's a dessert, chocolate-type beer. It goes well with those desserts. And the meat is beef, felt, shellfish, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glass for the pint, Becker Stein, the mug, the tumbler. And not recommended for extended cellarings since it is a 5% ABV beer. So... Without further ado, off with the cap. Whoops, not quite enough. Off with the cap. And we'll check for our date when I come back and do the final chug. We'll pull this kind of aggressive down the center and see what we end up with. Yeah, I just a good finger of head on this one. About a finger of head. Over into the light. It is a it is dark in the center, but I have a lot of red ruby tinges around the outside. I, I can see a little bit of redness around the outside, so it's not pitch black. It's like a deep cola color. It's got a nose on it. I definitely smell that chocolate there, or the cocoa. The head is uh, fairly uh, fairly creamy on top. There are a couple big bubbles in there, but it looks fairly creamy. About a half a finger still staying on the glass. I get cocoa and chocolate, roasted malt, maybe just a little caramel and toffee. That's about what I get on the nose. Cheers, everybody. chocolate. I'm getting a little coffee too. Like a burnt, like a burnt caramel or maybe some brown sugar. A little on the bitter side. Like a bittersweet chocolate to me. Seems a little above average, but not Extremely impressive. Maybe in the B category. Right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. I'm going to let it warm up. Let the other half taste it. We'll come back and do the final chug. Stick around, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. Got this a little, maybe just a little bit more. Slightly above average, guys. I mean, it doesn't have the taste there for me. And I kind of expected that with the organic. I've yet to find that A beer being organic, so foul job. Definitely chocolatey, roasted malt, very thin, very watery. 
and slightly on the bitter side. I think it could have been just a tad sweeter than that, but it couldn't have been super sweet, so. And I think we were going to look for a date. And I do not see it. Uh, I looked on the label. Don't see the dating on this bottle, guys. So being a 5%, we kind of want to know that, I believe. Even though it's not an IPA, nothing's going to fade, but we want to be drinking fresh beer. And not a beer that's been sitting on a shelf for a month or, I mean a month or a year or two. But anyway, I'm not super impressed, guys. I'm going to give it a 6, which is the B. Uh... Great Beer says 91 overall and 89 in the style, which are pretty impressive numbers on the overall. And the style I kind of agree with there. It's a little on the thin and watery side, but you know, it's a 5%, very sessionable. Uh, might be a good transitional beer if you've never had a stout or anything like that. So, so it don't have a whole lot of taste that's going to blow your taste buds or your palate out of your mouth. Uh, beer Advocate says 80, which is in a good range, and I would say that, it's a, it's a good beer, it's a, it's a B beer, I mean, I, it's, it's definitely above average, but not quite to the A category, so uh, if you've had it, give me some comments back on this one, guys, and, and like I said uh, yesterday, uh, uh, got another site that's putting some videos together out of my stuff, and I'm not happy about it, so uh, some of y'all have probably been there, and if you've made comments there, you're probably going to get blocked here, because I'm not happy with what they're doing, uh, it's kind of... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm, maybe I'm overacting, but uh, not happy that they're doing that. So maybe maybe I should retire and just get out of the beer business. What do you think, guys? Uh, give me some comments back on that one. If you've had this beer, some comments in there, too. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow.